Hi guys, this is Norm. Here I am with an update on my Warpig project. Uh, for those of you that don't know, it's a M1078 two and a half ton cargo truck, which has been converted into a long range desert patrol vehicle. Uh, in real life, the vehicle is based on the M1081 air droppable uh, chassis, very similar to an M1078. So that's why uh, ProArc models decided to use that chassis in order to uh, accomplish this conversion. Okay, so just letting you know. Last thing I've been sharing on Google Plus about this project is my usage usage of uh, Shinzen Gumi decals on my rucksacks. I've used the digital cam desert camouflage decals. Uh, they responded well to hot water, Mr. Setter uh, from Mr. Hobby and also uh, pressing down with a, a paper towel and it worked really well uh, they also I added Mr. Softer which is a, a, a softener it melted the decals onto the surface and uh, really really nice uh, I really like what I uh, got out of the project um, they're not going to get the treatment not all of them I kept some in just beige or sand color and just to be just to vary the, the the sauce you know like just to change it a little bit uh, next uh, I ordered fishing lure lead wire which is used in the manufacturing of lures or uh, even maybe uh, fly fishing I'm not sure but very very fine stuff uh, 0 0.010 0 and also all the way to 0 0.03 <clears throat> so there's a big range I think I got six spools of various gauges of lead wire which I'll be able to use on the radio suite in the front of the vehicle I have like four or five radios in there various control interfaces speakers computers uh, computer screens keyboards some of them have uh, coil wires and some of them have just straight normal wires antenna wires you name it SATCOM GPS a lot of stuff to wire and um, I could not do it with copper wire, it was just too stiff, uh, very 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 tough to do. So went online, started reading more about what people use for aircraft, hydraulic lines and stuff like that. And uh, people swore by it, they say go there and buy it. So when I get it and I experience how good it is, I'll share it uh, with you guys. Next I want to talk about is some of the decals I've used on, on it. On the screen you see the movie going around a couple times. The um, the decals for the jerry cans are from Echelon, which I talked about in my other video. Really, really nice decals. They settle down really easy. They love the Mr. Setter uh, solution, and really brings up uh, a sense of realism uh, to your models. So, uh, guys with strikers, okay, uh, modern like really modern, the latest thing in Afghanistan and Iraq. Uh, I think should be wearing this stuff because you see it on the pictures <clears throat> although if you can get them uh, don't worry about it also I got a set from Industrial Mechanica these guys are a bunch of uh, modelers that gang together in order to offer a really really odd um, genre of sci-fi and other uh, alike uh, models made of resin they produce the models I think digitally like in a computer environment <clears throat> where they send the files later to be 3d printed mold made and then produced um, in short batches they're not cheap models but they also offer um, stuff like decals and, and stuff like that which is and photo etch so go check their uh, website their uh, industrial mechanica and if you're interested in this site, this kit I got from them is this one. There are a bunch of um, various decals, which they say it's uh, good for 135th scale and 120th scale, 125th scale. I think it's for the the later, the the bigger scale, like 120th and 125th, would be good for trucks and um, things like uh, machine and Krieger uh, machines. They'll love this. I use only uh, first aid kits and some warning signs of some sort for mine, <clears throat> but I just wanted to bring up the uh, the company. 
uh, I think his name is Fish and Fu. I think he's a he's really really good modeler and he shares a lot of the good stuff on the on the uh, YouTube. So uh, go check him out. He's part of that team. Okay, next is the uh, live resin weapons that I've used. The kit or the aftermarket kit comes with an MG M240B 7.62 light machine gun. The one in the kit that came with uh, Pro Art was just destroyed on arrival. Okay, a DOA. Uh, I carved out the gun and kept the brace and then switched the gun for a live resin uh, M240B, of course. Added a scope on it <clears throat> from my live resin scopes I have. I can only praise live resin. Their stuff is exquisite. Okay, it's the way they manufacture it and what you see uh, in resin is just incredible. It's very delicate when you separate the parts so be careful if you buy some. It's not cheap <clears throat> but for what you get uh, it, it'll blow your mind. Okay. In the back I have a M134D 7.62 minigun. Something that the Terminator will actually be holding in his hand. Okay. Uh, added to that two 3,000 round magazines in the back with a power supply and motors to help feed the gun. Uh, on top of it is a uh, first round on target sights which enables you to see your uh, where you're aiming and where you're hitting and basically helps you uh, compensate. Really, really a top of the line uh, sighting system. On it there's a first aid kit, emergency trauma kit <clears throat> in big bright orange. Okay, no hiding what it is, don't have to search for it, it's in your face. Uh, spine board, I have um, uh, army litters or stretchers and so forth. Okay, I got tons of things happening. You will see cargo straps that are not finished, of course. These can be moved, that's why they're just there. Uh, I'm just looking at is it the proper way, is it holding the stuff down. So I'd, I want it to look as realistic as possible. Once I'm happy with one, I uh, lift it up, I paint it, and then I lay it back down, and I add the ratchet after. Um, why I do it this way is because it's too hard to spool the, the, the cargo strap on the ratchet and try to find a spot for it. It's easy for me to blend, blend in the ratchet, just bring it wherever I want, and just blend it in, and then nobody can tell a difference. And that's about it. I'll uh, give you another update whenever I can. Okay, uh, I am sorry. I apologize for being off the air for over a month, but uh, there's just lack of interest of making videos and just concentrating on uh, working on that beast. Everything like the Enigma, the uh, Maxis, the RG31, and also the SA6 Gainful have all been pushed back until. Uh, including the D9R, which has been pushed back a long time. Uh, everything is on the back burner until I finish this. Because I tell you, if I stop working on it, I will probably just ignore it forever because uh, of the problems that have been accumulating. So the faster I can get it done, the better. So you guys, you take care and uh, happy modeling and uh, Norm signing off.